The team as a whole spends a lot of time is thinking about the macro. It's a very top-down approach. We think about the macro opportunities, what's kind of going on in the economic universe. On the consumer side, it's the unemployment. On the commercial side, for instance, if we were talking about aircraft, it's global travel. What's kind of going on in the global travel space? And we're thinking about each of these high-level macro factors and how they can funnel down into each specific strategy. As you think about the strategies, you also then will tie in collateral performance. How, how are we seeing each of the underlying collateral in each specific ABS deal perform? What's happening there? How are the deals themselves structured? Are they structured appropriately to withstand any potential noise we may be expecting? in the macro universe. And then that kind of goes down to strategy and security selection. Within specialty finance, we see opportunities to provide that liquidity and that capital for general partners and limited partners via a securitization so that they can tap liqu their liquidity. Whether that takes the form of a net asset value facility, a NAV facility, or securitization, that's been a big focus and issuance of the market. One opportunity we have been working on lately in the commercial ABS is aircraft. Fundamentally, Aircraft sector such currently experiencing positive fundamental change. OEM like Boeing and Airbus, they reduced the production during COVID, and because of supply chain disruption, they are having trouble to increase the production of the new aircraft. And also on the, on the demand side, because of the lift of the travel restriction, global air travel has been close to or near 2019 levels. So you have recovered demand, but you have constrained supply. Many aircraft ABS, especially senior class, still trading at a very low dollar price, have low probability of further rating downgrade or principal loss. So we're really seeing value in the shorter types of strategies and higher up in quality because there is a lot of unknowns right now in the economy. And so as we're thinking about those unknowns, we are not reaching too far out in duration. We're staying short, which is a benefit because a lot of structured products are shorter in nature in duration versus the fixed income space. So we have a lot of opportunities in our side to buy into those short duration investment opportunities that can continue to pay down, offer higher amounts of carry and continue to perform well. So some of the opportunities that we're seeing now are within the subordinate segment within consumer ABS. Uh, this segment had an outsized widening last year when there was macroeconomic distress driven by inflation and uncertainty with regards to recession timing that could be induced by central bank activity. And that opportunity has compressed a little bit, but we believe it's still there and we believe the economy is on fairly strong footing because of the, the strong labor market. Uh, because if a consumer is employed, that is extremely supportive to their ability to repay their debts.